Peepla the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as Peepla7 on Twitter, YouTube, Peepla elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-peepla.blogspot.com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at peepla.etsy.com. And today I'm here to show you the Family Pod Soap. It's kind of like the Mod Pod Soap with one important difference. This is only being used by my family. Because instead of, okay, I made a dark soap, I'm trying to fix the dark soap, I'm going to put it with a light soap, and I'm going to add this and that, and, you know, didn't do none of that. This is made from pieces of, which is what pots mean, by the way, pieces of soap that we already have in the house. Every soap we've used over the last... Who knows how long when they get to a certain size? Because we're not when it comes to soap. We don't want to wash up a piece of soap this big, so it goes in a pile. You know, or soap that, you know, wasn't popular or, you know, just filled up the sample box or whatever. I added all of that to it in a layer. I sprayed it with some alcohol so that way. Because um, some of the pieces of the soap, like, um, were from the original Melt and Pour, and then I switched over to um, Cold Process and Hot Process. And you don't want to just throw out the soap because you use a different method now. So we saved it. Well, some of that's in here, too. So I sprayed it with alcohol so that way the new soap will adhere to the old soap, which will adhere to this soap to that soap, whatever, and I put it in a nice, I put it in a, um, in the pot swirl, a pastel color with no scent, and that's what I get right now. There's a couple of areas where the, um, white soap has hit the top, but that will trim right out and you can see the swirl. Uh, but at the bottom of it is all those pieces of soap from the past. So we're going to see what that looks like when I cut it. This thing is every bit of five pounds is not good. <laughs> so I go to pick that up and my body's going, Uncle, Uncle, what are you doing to me, sister? So, Let's get this out of here. I think I'm going to put that protective cover back, so that way when I flip it over, I don't have to worry about okay, the dust or anything like that. And then I'm going to also, in addition to my tapping needle, I'm going to use this to trim up the parts where all that white soap was. Cause I put that there as a uh, shall we say afterthought? Because I figured that way, if I needed to plane it, I didn't want to plane off so much that it's no longer usable. So I figured plane off the part that was going to be scrapped anyway. But since it's for the family, no one's going to be really fussy about how I did that. Oh, wow. I don't think this ever came out this easily in other times. <laughs> And now I'm going to take this same layer and put it at the bottom. Actually, I think I'm going to cut that. That way it for sure certain will fit in this mode. And it could just be my cutting mode from now on, or cutting template. That way I don't have to use a paper towel every time, or two. And that means at the same token, I won't have to worry about, you know, wasting supplies. See the white that was on there? That's literally from a different batch of soap. So like I said, it was for the family. 
Yep, we get free soap around here because when I make soap, I make it for my family first. And then I sell the overflow. Or I'll make some soap for whoever needs it. And we get to keep some of the overflow. And this soap didn't actually have an overflow. So basically what I made is what I got. Yeah, that worked nicely. Now, this is also rather firmly. But that's a good thing, because that means it's ready. I don't have to worry about, oh, well, there's some goo in the center. And y'all already seen the 40 work video. That can actually happen if you're a little bit impatient, shall we say. So like I said, we use two discs. There's pictures on my blog, or at least it will be by the time this video is up, and there's pictures on my Facebook. So I'm going to flip this over and let you see what I see. So oh, it's a little salt and something. Ready? This will be my first time seeing this too. I know how I did it. I don't know how it looks. the way I had it, but it's still very visible what it is, and if I turn off some of it right off, you'll be able to see all the patterns from the soap. And believe it or not, some of the color from the original is surviving being put in this format because this is literally 100% unscented, which means if it has a skin at all, I don't know where it came from because I sold and put none in there. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's move this. Very, very heavy, thick black coat out the way so I can put this here. Super wide on TV. <laughs> okay. Well, since it came out this way, how about we just put it back in that way? That way I don't have to worry about, hey, this corner was rounded and that corner wasn't, and now it doesn't want to flip over and act right, so forth and so on. But as you can see, I only used about a quarter inch leeway to make this go back. And that's mainly because there's a whole lot of other fun stuff that was in the back. I only made five pounds of soap, but there was a lot of extra, you know, pieces from, uh, well, basically I just went to the kitchen, and if it was a soap piece that we had used up, it got put in here. Don't do that. At this point, it usually lifts up because just the, uh, shall we say, suction, friction, gravity of the situation makes it too so. And I've also learned don't just up and get hyper, or let's get in a hurry, blah, 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 and tilt it sideways because half your soapbacks will fall out when you do that. What I do, though, I do push it a little bit, so that way it comes out without, I'll say, this little bit at the end wasn't attached, and so forth and so on. So now all family members can have their own bar of this soap, because this soap, two of them, was actually con commissioned by a family member. You know, could you make me some phone call? And now that soap is gone and so forth so on. And everybody in the family will see pieces of the soap that they 
basically commissioned to go in here. So. Oh, that's not trying to come out like that. So we'll do it the fun way. Flop. <laughs> Like loosening up. Yeah. That's one way to do it. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, where's the lid for the mode? Uh, I like to keep those things together. Oh, there we go. That way nothing gets lost. And I think I'm going to keep this template with it. So that way, wow, nice. Like, look at that. And like I said, I am going to change each piece. So that way I can see the true beauty of this method. And everywhere you see a swirl in here, that you don't see like straight chunks, that's the uh, in the pot swirl I did. I wonder why there's such a strong scent, mostly smelling of peppermint and flowers, because I did not add any scent to this soap. Only because I didn't have any. <laughs> Just like the distracted butterfly, there's an overpour that took effect. So when I trim it off, you'll see what's under. And I may or may not do that in this very same video. I'm already at um, 13 minutes. So, I think that's going to be a separate video. And the fun part, like this piece right here, I'm thinking that's part of the distracted butterfly. It's like guessing which piece came from what coat. And I'm sure this could be great fun around the house, too, because, like, that's the Super Bowl, I can tell that right off. Alrighty then. Let's separate that a little bit. In a book. Isn't it a shame I know all the words and stuff to Super Y? I don't even watch that show consciously. I never turn on the TV purposely to see it, but I've been a school bus driver for most of my adult life, and I have three grandkids, and I guess some of it has rubbed off. Now, the one show for kids that I actually did watch on purpose, uh, what was the name of it? Duck World. <laughs> Or Word World. That's it. Word World. I like that little duck. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's go. It's time to build a word. We build it. We build it now. <laughs> it's so cute. And then all the characters actually form the name via words and letters of what they are. Like the sheep is actually made of the word sheep. I find that adorable. Alright then. But Super Y, I know for a fact that show irritates me because they take too long to, you know, wait for the other people to guess what the word is. It's like, come on, they, even the kids in the story figured out, you know, what the word was five minutes ago and you're still waiting on the studio audience. Mm. Like, give me a break. People are rather bright these days, so don't take that long. Well, he's a slow reader. <laughs> there we go. 
And the last one. And that's my family pot scope. I'm going to clean this up and actually do a video on how I'm going to clean this up in case anybody want to try this. But the first things first, I'm going to go zap that TV. <laughs> Y'all stay blessed, stay too. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This is the People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube. People are elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-peopla.blogspot.com and Purple Butterfly Soaps is located at peopla.etsy.com. Bye now.